Hey, everybody. Oh, my God. Ugh. Shoot, should I put it over here? Hey everybody, I know it's been such a long, long time since I've been on YouTube, but I have so much news to share with you guys. Let me sit down. Excuse my lighting in my house. It's, I have um sunlight as my light right now. Peace and light, everyone. Welcome back. I know it's been a long two years since I haven't been on YouTube. It's been a lot going on in my life. I'm here to share it with you. I'm not afraid to share it with you. I am open. Um, you might hear some noise because my block is very busy. But um, I am now a Delaware native. Yes, I am. I'm from Philadelphia, born and raised. I am now a Delaware native. Um, I moved here June 10th of 2020. And guys, when I tell you I had a rough year, I had such a rough year. Like, let me start from my last video. I was trying to sell clothes that I couldn't fit anymore back in Philly when I was um living there. I did it at my aunt's house, and then that was just that. But there's so much more that happened ever since that. So, um, I'm not a dancer anymore. I am a full-time worker at FedEx here in Delaware. I've been there for about seven months now. Um, let's just say I was homeless. I was homeless. My house had a mold exposure, a bad mold exposure. Um, the walls were coming. Dark spots were all in the crevices and everything. The hot water tank was broken. The kitchen and the bathroom the kitchen and the bathroom was like over top and under one another. So every time that we would get in the tub or take a shower, literally the water from the shower would leak. If somehow the water would get in the walls and it was just sh like just shattered, like the walls started like leaking and molding and the water from the bathroom got into the kitchen and it was just a mess guys it was a mess so talk about stress talk about the press let's get into it so i was i left delaware i mean i left philadelphia because i came here in delaware because my cousin had you know an extended stay that we all could stay in so we did the extended stay when i tell y'all guys we was paying 400 a week it would be me, my mom, my brother, literally paying 400 I'm keeping it raw, straight, raw gutter with you. Like, no sugar coat, nothing. I'm letting it all out. So, became homeless, was living in a hotel for about, I say, four or five months. Switched to a different hotel, was paying even more because it was a five star. And a great, great lover and friend of mine's decided to help me get out that situation i was working at fedex still busting my behind at work paying four or five hundred dollars a week going to work paying four hundred talk about being strong talk about excuse me y'all this light is not like how i want it to be but talk about being strong y'all i am a strong individual of all the things that i've been through in my life even before me you know me becoming homeless just like all the things that i've been through in life and god has never left my side my brother is a social worker he just purchased his brand new truck he just passed his correctional office test for a month the myth the fences the physical and the standardized test my mom's still at her job she's doing great um they're living better they're doing great at the, they live in their place their place i live in my place i've been so tongue-tied guys but um, this is my home now. Thank you, God. And I can't thank him enough. And I tell him every day to forgive me for all the mean, hurtful things that I've said or done or anything or just all the stress that I've been through. I just cannot thank God enough. And you can't tell me he is not real. So after all that I've been through, when I say struggle, hurt, pain, blood, sweat, and tears, having to bust my behind at work even more, still bust my behind at work, you know, I got to pay the bills. Excuse me. I got to pay the bills. And I got to do what I got to do because now I'm a mom. 
Yes, I am a mother, y'all. I am a mother. I will stay tuned with you guys on my hair. And also, too, I've been shaving my sides. But back to me being a mom. I became a mom in the middle of April of 2021. Had no clue. Missed my cycle. Had some spotting. And it just was like... I knew something wasn't right. I was afraid that it was something else because I was having intercourse with my partner who was not using protection. I was afraid that it would be something else, but it came back that I was six weeks of mommy. So now I'm a mommy and I'm just ready to be on the be on the be on my goal ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to be on go. I'm ready to give you guys everything you need. YouTube, my hair. Body butter's coming soon. I want to do something entrepreneur so that I can make more money. Not just at a job, but actually doing something that represents myself, my true talent. And I'm I'm so afraid to do something or I could be lazy or I could slack and I never test my hand on what I can can do. And I have a lot of true talents that I just don't express and I don't show and I need to start doing it advertising. Um business cards, websites, like I'm about to get to it, guys. My birthday is in two days, May 20th, 1997. I am a Taurus. Um, this is my home. I'm, I'm going to show you guys the tour. Um, I, right now I'm cooking. I have meatball, shrimp, and Alfredo. It's going to be meatball, shrimp, and Alfredo put together. I just made it up. But, yes, guys, this is my home. I just gave it to y'all straight raw, no sugar coat. None of that. I'm cooking, so excuse my kitchen. This is my kitchen. Mm hmm Those are wine bottles and everything. My water bottles. This is my cabinet. I have like two cabinets. And this is my butterfly themed bathroom. With my butterfly shower curtains and everything. And this is when I found out I was a mother. Well, they've been sitting there ever since I've got, you know, the word back. And um, this is my room. I got it all, you know, spiritual and everything, you know, just, you know, cool, calm, collective type. This is my basement that I hardly ever go in. But, um... Yes, guys, you see my locks are going. I now have two strand twists. And um I have I now have two strand twists. I also have central air and heat, you know, you can see. Um I shave my own sides, which I'm gonna be doing some hair tutorials because I'm getting ready to get some locks. So I just can't thank God enough through all the times that I've been mean and hurtful and crazy to people. And I just want to just thank God because, you know, he is working on me. He's been working on my family. He forgave me for all the people that I've hurt. The people that I've hurt forgave me. And I'm just slowly but surely working on myself, guys. And I'm so, so sorry that it took this long for me to come back with a video. I just have not been consistent enough. I have not been focused enough. I have not been... 